my haircut's not too fancy, is it? Um, sorry about that. I haven't broken quarantine except to go to jail pretty much. All right, so I wanted to mention one more thing. There's this detective statement in here um, in which they don't believe me that no one in my family has ever had an Android phone that has lived with me ever in my entire life that I own this book because I got it from the NSA and the CTO of the NSA word for word said the president wants you to work for him. I know it sounds nuts, but he's the CTO. So um, apparently he does know the president. All right. Um, there's the statement from my dad. He believes his son has schizophrenia and uh, I got into a family disturbance with my brother because um, my brother wanted to fight me and I wouldn't let him fight me. All right, because that just happened. All right, so, but, like, would my brother actually have reported, would my dad have said that if they weren't asking about it? Yeah, they were asking him about it. All right, so, um, all I'm saying is, um, they're saying my dad is able to diagnose me with, with schizophrenia, but what my dad does is he sits around and writes notes about what happened during Vietnam all day, and um, he talks about, like, tank crews getting like suicide squads attacking them and he's trying to remember stuff and the other day it took my mom probably two hours to get him to sign a legal document because he couldn't figure out how to sign and date it he could he signed it in the wrong spot but he couldn't date it and um when we talked to him when i talked to him initially about the bullet going past his head he said that was in vietnam correct did dad have a bullet shot past his head in our neighborhood? He thought he did. When he was walking? When he was walking, he thought he did. Is that? Hey dad, after you picked me up from my hunger strike, did we meet a four-star general? Yes, we did. Where, where, do you remember where he was stationed? He was at, uh, he was actually from, uh, uh, from uh, South Korea. And then my mom, so that's why I went to my mom about that. Um, cause my dad is, is, is actually mentally disabled. All right. So they, they're trusting my dad about that, about my, my mental health. They're, they're letting this guy who doesn't have a college degree decide about my mental health, but he can't sign a document. Um, but what does my mom actually say here? All right, let's see. Um, she said that I, I went to court without a lawyer and that I'm suffering from delusional thinking. My mom hates that I don't have a lawyer. You you have to get a lawyer, you have to, they'll give you a lawyer, um, that you have a right to an attorney, you can get a, a court appointed a lawyer. She keeps saying it over and over again, I'm delusional if, you, if I think that I'm, so that's what she actually said here. Uh, and then she said I have not been di diagnosed with a mental illness. Um, I had gone to a psychologist because I have been. And, um, and I don't know, Okay, something about Mary stated that the psychologist not identified stated she needed to call the district attorney's office. Yeah, why would the psychologist call a DA? This this sounds like the, the conversation didn't make any sense. Um, then my mom stopped talking to him. All right, so let's talk about this whole FBI agents everywhere thing. So there's this FBI agent Smith who comes to me in jail while I'm in a jumpsuit. I can't find the interrogation they did. All I, all I see is um, uh, 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 evidence, I, I see this report written up, but I told him all about my boss and how to confirm my story. Um, I, I informed Mr. Mormon he needed to call local police if he believes he's in danger from his neighbor and, and they would de-escalate the situation. And then he said he, he would now call the FBI, CIA and local, that's not what I said. What I said is I already contacted the FBI, CIA and the director. He then said he had reached out to the DNI. No, actually, I, yeah, I said I had reached out to all three, the DNI, the FBI, apparently, I don't know, I, I can't watch the video, so maybe I misspoke. But, so there's an FBI agent with a regular agent interviewing me in jail. I'm in a jumpsuit. I don't have, I was going to publish that interview because I did a good job on it. I thought it's not here. Um, let's see here. There's also, okay, so this detective Summy, he is into narcotics and intelligence. He's an intelligence detective. He works with the FBI all the time, he says. He works with Jay Gherkin, who is a senior special agent with the FBI. So there's, there's another FBI, okay, so we have three FBI agents on me. We have Jay Gherkin, Agent Kimball, and then we have Agent Smith. And then we have this intelligence operative from the Colorado Springs Police Department who does narcotics. For some reason, though, 
Brandon isn't listed, but Brandon, who might be Kimball, he is, is the most confusing person here because he doesn't even know I did a hunger strike, but you have all these people involved with my case. I talk about it all the time. He doesn't know Bakersfield exists. He's gone through my videos, obviously, but for some reason he doesn't remember ever seeing any tweets about Bakersfield like constantly. I'm talking about when I have a video, when I have a phone conversation with this guy. All right, so all I'm saying is um, this whole my parents think I'm mentally ill thing yeah, th like the last thing I am is violent thing. Like or the last thing I am, what's pretty clear about this is that the last thing I am is violent. So, um, and it's pretty clear the FBI is after me pretty hardcore. And that would mean that um, when I say that I'm a whistleblower and they, they threaten me and that they're, tr they're, they're trying to um, like come after me, like to set up a legal situation to put me in jail. Uh, I'm, I'm not just saying that I am actually a, whistleblo a whistleblower. Like I, I worked for the CTO of the NSA. He told me that I was working for Donald Trump. And then it's like, well, you're mentally ill because the president thought that you'd want to work for him. It's like, well, I'm sorry that I'm actually smart and the president would never ask you to work for him. I mean, if you're actually smart, you wouldn't have gone through with this case because um, once I show everyone the way I was treated by this judge, it's gonna be bad.